I want to do is I want to talk about safety. Um, I think it's important that our students understand the new technologies that have come out and that are being used. Um, if they want to be competitive in the job market, they need to know all of these new techniques and they need to have some hands-on experience, some practical knowledge, as well as uh, just knowing by reading or watching documentaries and such on, on how it was done. They, they also need to actually do it so that uh, they can apply for these jobs. Virtual production is basically like using a green screen so you can kind of expedite the process of having to go on set. It's a lot cheaper, uh, a lot more manageable, and instead of the green screen behind you, you have the actual image. So we don't have to deal with like lights filled of green on people's faces and whatnot. Um, currently, my team is working on our own virtual production of a sort of dramatic abduction sort of sort. This is both my first time working in virtual production and on a set, and it has been, it's been very enjoyable. I'm having a lot of fun with it as the director of photography. Um, but it has also been very overwhelming. <laughs> this is the first time that we've ever used a motion control robot. I have not used a motion control robot and it is super cool, super awesome. It's really cool to see like a robot do the camera movements and to actually get like shots that we couldn't do like can help. For example, like the really high shot, we would probably need like an actual ladder for that. When I, we first were told about this project, we didn't know we were gonna have a robot. So when we were planning out our shots, it was definitely something that we could do by hand or by tripod. So all of our shots are a little bit safe, right? But then after learning that we had a robot, then we could actually go out and you know play, experiment. So it was really fun to think about what shots we could do with the robot now that we actually had something that could do things that we wouldn't have thought was possible by hand. I actually don't think most people have uh, the, the gift of using one. This is a very, very cool, and um, I think the students' films are coming out so much better than they could have if they didn't have the robot. Um, there are some shots where I'm just kind of like, how are we going to do this? And we pull out the robot, and we use it, kind of get it to where we want it, and it looks so much better than I had in mind. The robot was less complicated than I thought it would be because of the, you just put in the keyframes. It makes it like super easy. In total, our shots for the film were about 12 shots and I think we were planning to use the robot for four shots. But after you know talking with the amazing Sisu people here, Mike for example, and, and kind of getting an idea of like what they've been able to do on other projects, we've expanded that four shots to basically double. After this virtual productions, um, I start off next semester. Um, in the future, I hope to do like animation. I really like lighting. Um, from this experience, I've actually started kind of thinking of working on physical sets, like in photography, director of photography type aspects. Um, but between this, focusing on traditional art, I'm just kind of open to whatever, just looking towards the next thing. The industry is constantly evolving and virtual production is such a new movement in it. And I want to be part of that innovation. I want to see how, where it's going, how it's going to change. This volume is just really cool and really big. So the fact that we're having the chance to get in here and be part of this production is such a lucky opportunity for me. It's been a wonderful experience watching um, my students in this environment, working with the robot, working on set. Uh, it's really exciting. I'm so proud of them. <laughs> uh, they have not only uh, risen to the occasion, they've surpassed it. Uh, the, um, the shots that are coming out for their films uh, look really great, and I cannot wait to see the finished products.